Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Remember yesterday where we waved goodbye to Team of the Season and hello to Path to Glory and the greats of the game icons? I don't think we were really expecting to see the type of juiced, insane cards that we actually saw yesterday. And to think all of these cards are live and getting upgrades as the Euros and Copa America start. Wild. But as expected, yesterday there was a lot of content. I want to go through that today and also look at how these new cards are impacting the market. They are the new meta and other cards are crashing in the price because of this. And we have leaks to discuss as there's multiple big SBC names that we've talked about already and some new ones to add to the conversation that might bring more insane Path to Glory cards to the table. So if you're excited for today, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's start off with yesterday's content with objectives because... There's a couple gems in here. First of all, we love a good daily play. That is back once again, as always. That seems to be a new kind of constant thing. Daily play throughout Team of the Season, even before that. These are here to stay, I think, right? And we don't mind them. It's easy free packs just for playing games. You do get an 84-4 for finishing the whole thing. Solid. Christensen, first card here in objectives for a Euro Path to Glory, of course, upgrading for Denmark. And once again, guys, these cards get extra nation boost for chemistry. So the Barca links plus the Danish links, he's going to be on three chem very easily. You add one other player in from the, the uh, specific nation, or you add in somebody else from a team, or maybe even just an icon or a manager link, and you're probably on three chemistry points in most teams. This is a decent free card. I mean, it's also a 93 rated free fodder card that has the potential to upgrade. So not a like insane card there, but it's there and it's nice. And we have another cup. Guys, they're loving the cups recently. We have the one that was the German one nation cup that was released during uh thursday's content and then yesterday on friday we have the festival of football cup which is more games and you have to actually include a festival of football player or you have to include showdown players in your squad and i actually just checked it doesn't have to be a showdown player like thomas muller that was dropped yesterday i just put uh my loaned gavardiol who was who i packed from the free 92 plus euro or copa america pack into my team as well as this showdown random showdown e-stock that i had from earlier on in the year and it counts it fulfills the showdown or festival of football player requirement so that is nice to see from yesterday so we, you know we don't mind a cup we don't mind it. there's a lot of other gameplay that gives better rewards but it is there if you want to grind it not too bad let's go to the evos because we got the evo we were expecting guys the academy evo and there's some good things about this and there's some other things that are maybe not as well liked. First of all, there are only seven players, or maybe it's eight players, I believe, that were given out yesterday in that free pack where you get these academy players. But there's two Evos for the Euro players, and there's two Evos for the Copa America players. Yeah, it's seven players, right? Which basically you can Evo four of these cards out of the seven that they have given out. I have some hints about that, though, and I don't want to say do all of them. We'll talk about that in just a second. But the cards that these Evos create, like Dog, a 97 paced, 98 dribbling, 5-star, five 5-star five Michael Elise card with Travella, Power Shot, and Technical. That is nuts. What a dynamic image for him as well. The Sterling card and the Immobile card don't feel super worth it to do because one of the playstyle pluses you get from this is Power Shot. So it feels like a little bit of a waste with those cards. Adiyemi is a very, very popular one as well. He goes to a 95 rated card with maxed out pace. He goes to 5-5 as well with Quick Step, Power Shot, and Technical. I think Adiyemi and Olise are the most two popular cards out of the Euro attacker one. And then the Copa attacker one, I think, honestly, in my opinion, Richarlison is the best one to do and maybe, maybe the only one to do. If you're like, man, one or two of these cards doesn't speak to me, I think that's fine. Let the Evos sit. Like, let one of the Copa attackers and one of the Euro attackers fit because we saw this before during Future Stars. There's a potential that some of the midfielders and maybe even defenders, but specifically the midfielders, like a power shot with technical on a midfielder, if they were to fit this Evo, that would be really, really cool. And the requirements don't look too, I don't know, restrictive. It's just 87 rated and the Euro Academy, seven play styles, one play style plus. So I would imagine we're also going to get Euro midfielders and Euro defenders. So maybe you save one of these Evos each just in case there's another possibility for a cool card there. But let's be honest, those are some really, really great cards. And I think these cards, honestly, since they're free and so cracked with such good stats, these are some of the reasons why prices are down on the market on a lot of other cards. 
it's because these cards were free and they are pretty cracked. So that was the Evo yesterday. I think the most disappointing thing with that is there's just a lack of choices because there's only seven cards. Remember during Future Stars, we had plenty of opportunities. I think there was like maybe like 10 or 11 cards that were given out for the attackers, midfielders, and defenders. So it's a little unfortunate that we have fewer opportunities there and fewer choices, but uh, those are the really good cards that you can get out of it. Now let's go to SPCs where we had the return of some regular things like the 83 plus team of the week pick is back. The exchanges are back for 41 more days through the rest of the season and then actually beyond that a little bit, I think. Um, you know, no changes there, nothing big. It's just kind of Control c Control v but we're glad that they're back, and we gla are glad that those are there. One of the new SBCs yesterday, though, was a 78 plus times 3 Best of Nations pack, which if you want to try to hunt the best players that are in packs right now, this would be the upgrade pack to do. I like that you get three players back from it. This, this is a good SBC. The real toss-up right now is what do you do? The 81 plus player pick or the 78 plus times three? I don't think I have an answer. I think the 81 plus player pick is still very good. You turn in right eight golds, one rare. This one, you turn in three rares and you turn in 11 golds in total. So three rare, eight non-rare, but you get to take three home with you but it's lower with 78 rated. It's just Argentina, France, Netherlands, England, and Brazil though. So again, your chance of maybe hitting a bigger ticket, Europa, sorry, Euro or Copa America card is there. I don't know. I have to do some of both of these. I think the 81 plus player pick still might be clear for, for the fodder that you might get back, but it's kind of a toss up between those two. It's nice to have options as always. Let's go to the player selection though, where we had a surprise showdown. I love the thought process and kind of the the purpose behind this right you have thomas muller versus ryan christie the very first game of euro 2024 between germany and scotland nice cards for sure but i love that they're giving showdowns out already and i hope that we get a lot of showdowns during the euros and during copa america because that would just add to the hype of these big games and this one's cool right it's the first game that's going to be happen next friday this thomas muller card might be the most usable version of him of all time. I mean, I think we had one at the end of the year last year that was pretty good too, but four star, five star, high, high power shot, Trivella first touch. He can play striker, center forward and cam, and it would be a plus two overall upgrade, of course, for showdowns for whoever would win this game. So the Christie card as well, if you're a Bournemouth fan, this is one you get done. Four star, five star, high, high, not a terrible card either. He can play on the right side and ping pass rapid and chip shot but of course that thomas muller card is kind of the rage expected to upgrade expected to win that was a big one from yesterday that a lot of people are doing and some Bayern links actually did move up in price because of it but both of those sbcs are overshadowed by the big ticket card yesterday which was luis diaz guys this card has a 74 percent upvote on footbin it's got to be partially because of the dynamic image, right? But he's got finesse plus, press proven, and rapid. He also has quick step, incisive. He's got trickster, power header. So he, I think he feels really good in game. That's the reports that I have been hearing that he feels. I mean, some people have said Mbappe-esque. I don't know about that. That's a very, very high bar to live up to, but he's four-star, five-star. They couldn't quite do the five-five. It seems like they're still holding that back a little bit. But again, this is a live Luis Diaz card, and a lot of people are taking that into consideration because with the group that they are in, in Group D of Copa America, it's with Brazil, so that's a tough one, but then Costa Rica and Paraguay, and you would imagine that Luis Diaz would have a really easy opportunity at plus one, the first upgrade, a 96-rated boost, and then also at least a shot at a third win, which could give him a fourth play style plus, right? Because that is the second upgrade once you get three wins. So... I think it's a decent SBC, and a lot of people like the price of it as well. I think people also, just like last week for Ultimate Tots, had some saved up rivals rewards and some bigger packs that they were ready to rip for this new promo. And the seven squads, you know, the 837,000 coins that it takes to get it done isn't too tall of an order to ask for. And of course, you got the links, right? You throw in one Liverpool player, like a VVD or a Konate that a lot of people still have in their clubs. Boom, you're on full chemistry for that Luis Diaz or maybe another Colombian player that you're throwing in there. So this is getting a lot of hype. Again, personally, I, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting because we have a lot of other big names floating around that could be SBC players soon. This card does look very good. Like the press proven plus on a left wing card is just giving me flashbacks to the beginning of Prem Tots when Hyun Min Sun had the finesse and had the press proven and he was very OP. And then you throw in the rapid plus on 99 pace with 99 dribbling like... 
This card has to be good. There's no way around it. I'm just thinking, is it worth my fodder right now? And I'm not fully decided on that. So I'm going to hold off. I even have some fodder in my unassigned because I'm just waiting because I opened a big pack yesterday. I'm waiting to see what comes out before I kind of commit to that one. But that's just my opinion. I know a lot of people are really stoked for that. Now let's talk about these cards that are in packs because these are the ones that are honestly just, I don't know, like the stats on these cards, guys. I could not believe yesterday when I saw this Eder Militao Copa card. Like this card is absolutely insane. And he was extinct. EA updated the price range. He's 4.8 million coins. Hello to the best center back in the game. That team of the season VVD has been dethroned. 95 pace, 96 defending, and 94 physical. Like, holy, man. This is crazy. 4-4 with anticipate aerial and jockey. And he can play right back as well. And it's live. And it's a Brazilian live card, guys. Like, if Brazil go on to... I think win the Euros, I think it would be actually if they get to the semifinal of the Euros, he would get a 99 rated card, right? Because that first, third and fourth upgrade would take you to 99 rated for a 96 rated card. And I don't know what they would do if they won the final because uh, he would already be 99 rated if they reach the semifinal. So that's crazy, right? For this Militao, he's the one that everybody's going to be chasing. But then the whole entire rest of the team, the Euros, um, I keep saying Euros, or I keep saying Europa, combining Euro and Copa, I need to stop that. But the Euros cards like uh, Pedri, Saliba, Ruben Diaz, the center backs that were dropped yesterday, and Kyle Walker as well, insane top tier center backs i guess ea was thinking that center backs needed a boost because this ruben diaz looks absolutely insane kyle walker is you know a right back by nature but always has that secondary position of center back on some of these special cards that he has 98 pace kyle walker absolutely mental card here four star four star for him too he's got to anticipate regular what an item you're never going to get past him in defense right so this team of players looks stacked and i'm only talking about the defenders right now the depaul messi's bodyguard he looks insane he's 1.2 mil i actually just bought a couple of him Saka looks mental um pedri is wild and even the heroes and the icons man like vidic is crazy 99 defending and 97 physical with a five-star weak foot for vidic i'm really hoping that serbia get those four goals because i want to see that card go up two upgrades di natale looks insane as well captavia great benton core like what a card tyler adams for a prem midfielder insane you just look at this team and the stats right of course they all have three play style pluses but it's the stats guys that just make these cards stand out above the rest and these are cards that it seems like are worth chasing because the pack weight I don't know. Let's talk about that for a second, the pack weight, guys, because um, I actually opened a 650K pack with coins yesterday because that guaranteed whatever Euro slash Copa pack came out, and I got absolutely scammed. I had the worst pack luck, I think, just about out of everybody yesterday. The 650K pack, my best card was Oblak, and I packed nothing from the safe packs that I had, which granted wasn't insane, but I had two 87 fours and 85 three, and I got nothing. On the other hand, uh, there's a lot of other people who have been packing insane things. It kind of feels like the ultimate tots weight, right? Last week, I had some good pack pulls. I got some good stuff. A lot of you guys did too. These, you know, they're like hit and miss, kind of bipolar in a way, right? A lot of people have been hitting them and a lot of people have not been. But that to me is still an okay way to have it because if there's a chance of hitting the high tier cards, like people packing Walker, somebody tweeted me yesterday. I think it was a Walker and a De Young from an 81 plus player pick. So like, is possible. It kind of makes me want to make sure I hit all the upgrade packs this week and actually put in a little bit of a grind to try to get these cards because it's like you're telling me there's a chance. So that's how it feels with them. But of course, the pack weight's not going to be super easy. Guys, these are live cards that upgrade. And with that being said, you know, it's worth grinding for them, but their prices are going to reflect the nature that they are live cards. By the way, we're not using flipping right now. At least the flipping stuff that is like the prices are totally wrong. It shows Kiesa at 4.99 million coins. I just refreshed this page. If you go over to foot.gg, he's actually 2.7, 2.7 mil. So there are some big price mistakes here with foot uh, bin, and it's been that way. Walker, I just picked up two of them for 1.2 mil. He's actually not 1.1. Um, he's definitely more so 1.3. So 
yeah, Footbin is having some price issues and price updating issues. I don't know what's going on there. So we've been using foot.gg. But speaking of these cards and these prices, guys, just keep in mind, they are live. So probably their low points are going to be a little bit earlier than what normal promo cards would be just because there's the live and there's the upgrading aspect on the line with games, especially for the Euros cards. Starting next week, we have to keep a close, close watch on these because people are going to start to, as they fall in price, which they should today, start to think about investing in these and holding on to them for the potential upgrade. So that is something we have to keep in mind. But I do expect them to drop today, but not until after we see some rises. And we've already seen some rises in the early morning hours today. I picked up a DePaul literally 30 minutes ago for 960,000 coins, just sold it at 1.2. I bought a Pedri at 1 mil flat, sold it for 1.3. And then I bought a couple of Walkers, as I said, right around 1.2, a Lukaku at 830, and an Adams at uh, 351. And I have one more DePaul that I actually bought as he was rising for a million, and I tried to sell it for 1.3. Didn't get out there. Hopefully, going to sell this one for like 1.2 mil. Still, these cards are fluctuating like crazy, and there's a lot of people that want to buy them. I think some of their prices will rise up today because they are the most meta cards in the game and they're decently rare on the market, but they're going to drop later on today, kind of like a normal Saturday with these guys. Again, you don't want to get stuck with one of these because they could still fall off a good bit. But again, ooh, Sokka 2.09. Ooh, that's getting tempting. I think if I saw two mil, I would buy that because he might be two five, two six heading into the middle part of the day today. But once again, with these cards, guys, I want to take a look uh, at some prices on the market that are still dropping. This Bastoni card on my trance list right here. Here's one of the examples of uh, Footbin frauding. It says nine hours ago. If I refresh this, is it working? Okay, maybe it is working now. All right, they might be fixing up. But he was nine hours ago, 900K. And you can see on the graphs, like yesterday... Um, actually, no, it shows it. Wow. Okay. So Footbin's got some visual issues or it's actually a problem. I don't know. There's problems. But this card yesterday, this is the bottom line. This card yesterday was a million coins, 1.1 mil. And with all the cards that have dropped, especially the insane center backs, without even a center back SBC, Bastoni is 760K. He is absolutely tanked. A lot of these cards are down and a lot of the ultimate tots cards are down as well. Uh, Bonmati is not 580. She, she was literally, yeah, see, this is cap, right? She was just showing for 470, which is her actual price on the market, and she's actually 580,000 coins. But this is kind of a th the reason why I wasn't really wanting to invest in too many Ultimate Tots cards um, and hold on to them for super long, just because I, I figured that some of this was going to happen, right? Yeah, she's 460K here, not 580. Footbin, got to get it together. But a lot of the Ultimate Tots cards are down. Like VVD is not 3 mil. He was just 2.8. Um, Chawinga is 300K flat. Leao is like 700K. Uh, yeah, okay, it shows 900, but he's actually 700. And he's down because of the left wing Luis Diaz. So there's a lot of prices on the Tots Ultimate cards and Tots across the rest of the market that are down. But again, think about it, right? It's because the new cards have come in. They're insane rating-wise, and they're live with the potential to upgrade. I, I don't see it really doing well for the, the rest of the market. I don't see the rest of the market really holding up super well, especially if we keep getting good SBC content, which we're going to talk about today. Last thing about the market, we're going to talk about fodder. Fodder didn't drop as much yesterday as it did in previous weeks. Like 85s, yeah, sure. They're just um, around 4,000 coins, maybe a little bit below that. 88s, they didn't go to 7K this week. They're only 9,000 coins right now. I still think even with these inflated prices, guys, it's probably a decent time to get on bids and stock your club and make an investment because, again, we have big name SBCs and upgrade packs that are probably going to continue to drop this week of PTG. I think the fodder investment on the golds is probably still the way to go. And team of the season cards could continue to rise unless EA supply them tradable. And as of right now, they have not yet. So, Let's get into today's content. We've been yapping for ages about the content that happened yesterday. Let's talk about today because there's some leaks and there's another card that I think is going to make a splash on this game, guys. And the leaks are starting to come out that we might actually be getting the Icon SBC that we've been thinking about. That's kind of been in the back of our minds for a little bit. The ECL or FC Pro Champion decision, the icon that he picked, uh, the German guy, I forget his name. Was it Jonas who won? I think I'm, that might not be his name, but his winner that he had to pick from the list of those that was dropped in game. Everybody was saying, oh, Nate, he picked Eto. It was already on Twitter, right? That's cap. That was actually a prediction that was not the final answer. And since this pack code has been added to the code, 
and we have some leaks of a DDA Drogba circling. I think DDA Drogba is getting the SBC, and I think it might be today. If this has been added to the code, there's a high likelihood that SBC could be today on Saturday. Guys, this, imagine a DDA Drogba, right? Let's just go back to last year before we talk about Drogba. Last year, we had a Kaká, a 93-foot birthday. They gave him a 94, a plus one overall um, for his boost, and that was the SBC that was dropped, and it was a pretty solid SBC. You can see it was kind of 50-50. Some people liked it, some didn't. This year, Drogba is one of the most meta, if not the most meta striker in the game. This version here, he rose from 400k to 900,000 coins before dropping off a lot during team of the season. But then he had a ton of press as all the pros were using him in that event like two weeks ago. He's only got two playstyle pluses. If they're dropping a Drogba today, it's probably going to be 95 or 96 rated with three playstyle pluses. And it's going to be an SBC that will be so annoying to play against because of how overpowered Drogba is. You can see based off of that graph right there and those numbers on Footpin, which I guess they're actually working there for that card, is that Drogba's price is tanking. He's 340,000 coins. He's been dropping a lot as people are selling in the expectation that this guy is getting an SBC today. And I completely understand why. I don't think the SBC is going to be as cheap as this card, though. It's probably going to be 700k+. plus. He is going to overprice it a bit. They know he's super meta. But that is going to be an SBC that makes big waves because so many people are going to want a card that is as meta as Drogba is and as glitchy as he is. So I'm just preparing you to get ready. Maybe you do go out there and make sure you have a VVD-esque tall, strong center back to try to combat the crosses that will be coming our way once that card gets on this game because, um, yeah, that Drogba card is difficult to stop. And that's from somebody who's not used him a ton, who packed him first when he was in Golazo. That card is very, very good. Anyways, there's other SBCs to be worried about other than that one because from the leaks yesterday, remember guys like uh, Araujo or Bruno Guimaraes was leaked yesterday as well. Danny Olmo, Jimenez. We haven't seen those cards yet released on this game. Where are they? Well, those rumors are that A, there could be a mini release either today or tomorrow on Sunday. And B, players like Araujo and Enzo Fernandez are still coming as player SPCs. Also, the Crespo that we mentioned um, in yesterday's video, that's still rumored out there as well. Guys, I don't know if we're getting all these SPCs or not. It seems too good to be true. We already have two live Argentinians. Um, do we have two Uruguayan players? I'd have to go back and take a look through. We have Bentancourt. I don't know if we have a second Uruguayan. Maybe Araujo is going to be that guy, unless it's a, a fodder one, unless I've completely missed. I don't think we do. I think we just have just Ben Tencore. So maybe Araujo is that second Uruguayan card. Um, but like, think about the quality of players we're getting here via these SBCs. Araujo would be crazy, especially with these stats. He's going to be a nuts card. Enzo Fernandez would be crazy too if he's coming as an SBC. That seems like almost too good to be true for an SBC, right? So I don't know what's happening, guys, but there are some big names that are floating around. It feels like Araujo might be one of the most um, like legit leaks. We'll have to see. Enzo already having two Argentinians. If we're going to get Crespo too, that's a lot of Argentina, man. And then again, like even from the leaks yesterday, there was a Jordan Pickford, Pickford that was leaked and a Joe Gomez. Like, Are we getting four English players? Again, guys, it seems too good to be true for all of these cards to be getting items. We will just have to see. We don't have a Bradley Barcola. That was another leak from yesterday as well. So there's either a mini release or there's a whole lot of player SBCs coming. And maybe there's a team too. I don't know. That would be probably unlikely as the games are starting this weekend. So yeah, there's a lot of unknown ar around who's coming as an SBC. Is there going to be a mini release? Are some of these leaks wrong? But it sounds like we're going to have some really good SBCs upcoming soon. So that's just something I wanted to say because again, that's just another reason to be very careful with the tradable cards that you might have right now in your club because again, especially for team of the season and stuff like that, if there's new crazy cards that are dropping as SBCs um, and even in a mini release added to this game, that's going to hurt other prices around the market as well. Last thing to talk about for today's content on a Saturday, we're definitely getting a Drogba or a player SBC. If it's not Drogba, somebody is a player. We're probably getting more upgrade packs too, right? Saturday is kind of like upgrade pack day number one because we get the usual pretty quality upgrade. 83 times 10 is the one we had last week. 86 double this week? It feels like we haven't had that one for a hot minute. I'd rather have the 84 times 7 over the 86 double any day of the week. So fingers crossed that we get that or maybe even like an 85 7. That would be cool. 
um, but that might be too good to be true. If it's the 86 double, you know, it's probably going to make, I think that was a two squad requirement, might make 85s move a little bit. If it's the 84 times seven, that was a one squad requirement. And I think that was the one that they required only team of the seasons for. Um, and if that's the case, I, if EA don't change it, sorry, I mean team of the weeks. If they only require team of the weeks again, and that makes those cards, um, that would make those cards go up a lot in price. They're 25,000 coins right now. I am not investing. I'm just saying if they were to do that, that would be what would happen. But we're getting some sort of upgrade pack today. And then it might be too early and too soon for a midfielder academy Evo. I think they might drop that on Sunday and then kind of space those out every other day. I think that's what they did during future stars as well. So we don't have a pack in the code yet for a Euro midfielder or defender. But that would be an Evo potential that could be today or a little bit later on. Guys, uh, this this is just wild. Like these cards, honestly, as I look at them, I'm like, man, some of the Tots cards that I have in my team, yeah, sure, VVD is still amazing, but like Cancelo, Grimaldo, like they're at risk, man. They are at risk of being replaced by some of these new cards. If I'm if there's a good SBC that comes out, if I'm able to hit one of them through packs, like it seems like everybody in my team is maybe at risk. And again, we've barely talked about the icons, the icons and the heroes are just as crazy. Rivaldo is insane. Just to click through those really quick. Um, the Haji card looks nuts. Balak um, is good as well. Dog Leash looks unreal. He's not 7 million. He's only four, but like five, five for him with 97 shooting and 96 pace. Like what a card. Rivaldo's got 98 dribble, 97 pace, five, five. Like it's silly season, man. It's what it is. It's really the start of silly season. And that's what it feels like the summertime vibes in this game but that means good content and fun cards and uh, i'm all for the upgrade look at this pedri's back down to a million coins after he was 1.3 trade with these cards guys they fluctuate like crazy but they will be dropping later on to today so yeah that's the video for today guys i hope we get a banger SBC if it's drug today i hope we get a banger one good luck if you're trading if you're playing weekend league i know that the ultimate tots cards are still in rewards and that also is yet again another reason why some of the players on the market are dropping because people are getting them through reds again but good luck with your games today i'm sure the gameplay is going to be a bit sweaty out there as everybody's chasing the rewards and these cards in packs and uh yeah best of luck trading best of luck grinding through the upgrades and i will see you guys in a youtube video tomorrow if you enjoyed this drop a thumbs up on it comment below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been Nathan for the account and I'll see you guys tomorrow peace out